So then after that later so uh, for pandemic um, really made the digital piano me sales uh, naik no secara mendadak mendadak. Ya, yeah, people yeah. yang dulu pandemik dia mencari hobi baru. Tiba-tiba cari hobi baru. Yes, semua duduk kat rumah tak tahu It's nak good. buat apa so beli kat Shopee, Lazada, semua beli piano, beli gitar, beli apa-apalah. Orang yang dulu basking pun macam they get back to activities, dia orang buat live stream. Dah pandai buat live stream dah sekarang. Ya. Yeah. So and one of the really like uh, popular models of the pianos that were sold. Ada dapat is, de- depan kita ni. Ya, yeah, ini Epitetti. Ini aku punya yang klasik ni, Epitetti lama punya. Lama sikit lah. Lama Lepas tu sikit. sekarang dia sudah upgrade jadi X version. Tak kan? apa beza dia pun. Apa beza dia? Okay. Tengok macam sama je kan exactly tapi exactly memang tak, sama. Tak sama. Hmm. Exactly sama oh, dari segi rupa. Ha? Aku jaga A dengan ni. Ha, boleh ya. Jaga kamu punyalah aku hau hau tadi Eh okey, okey lagi. Daripada Adam tu eh siapa menang tu? <laughs> Susah. Kau <laughs> lawan aku dia lawan aku tak. Kita tahu lah gitaris Ego tak makan lah Ego, ego hey. Saya duduk macam ni boleh kan? Lepak aja, Cik, macam Macam si Boleh tak? Nampak aku macam pun macam ni lah <laughs> We're live? Macam ni We're, We're live! Wow Jom lah Joji, boleh main lah So, you nak main lagu apa ni, Wong? Saya tak tahulah Haki tu pakai bantai main je lah You got anything in D minor you can play, Encik? I, I suka Kita main pop lah, ha? Huh? A, A major A major pula <laughs> Janganlah sama jazz <laughs> Okay, A major aku sering dia lah <laughs> Sengaja bagi ruang Ya, yeah, bagi yes. ruang lah Musisi okay. kena share Okay, hello everybody and welcome to Soundcheck right. Soundcheck Soundcheck, Hari check soundcheck, one two Episode apa ni mo? Berapa ni? Episode keempat saya rasa Keempat dah? Ya, yeah, sudah Sekejap empat Sekejap sahaja It feels so fast, you know I thought like okay. we just started last week, you know But man, four weeks have passed So today, we're going to jump right into it uh, We're going to be talking about our topic Which is the uh, Digital pianos for the digital age. What's the digital age? We live in this uh, time where almost everything is digital. I think you know um, our phones are digital, our um, computers are digital, our TVs are digital, uh, our pianos are digital, some guitars are digital too, and yeah, technology like, has come a long, long way. Bila check up about technology, music. Sound pun berubah Oh, dah makan ke? Uh, yes, thank you Saya sudah Hai. makan Ya, yeah, kami dah makan Ya, yeah, kami sudah makan Thank you Hope you guys are having a, a good fasting month And I think next week sudah raya So, I want to wish you guys a Selamat Hari Raya uh, in advance Kepada so, yang menyambut yeah, yeah, Kami ucapkan daripada RFP sendiri yep. Ingin mengucapkan selamat Hari Raya And then, kita nak cakap sikit untuk episod kali ni Yeah, yeah, special guest. Siapa yeah, special guest? Kita yeah. Special guest. Uh, we this time around we didn't really have a special guest, so we kind of like uh, you know, we was just host it ourselves, lah. You know, and uh, well, as you know from the previous like uh, episodes and all, uh, I'm a guitar player and she's a bass player. So what what do we know about pianos? Well, we do know a little bit, I guess. You know, we have our experiences, lah. You know, like let's go back, way back, growing up in the 90s. Are uh, you really ingat that? Uh, 
Okay, saya cuba ingat 90s. Back when 90s, I think I was was still a little lah macam. Yeah. You are from the 90s, right? I think. I'm 90s. <laughs> <laughs> 90s. Okay, so back in 90s also memang budak kecil. Yeah. We I don't really expose to music lah. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then surprisingly slowly I rasa my my dad dia ada music punya uh, darah music. Yeah. So I kind self taught dekat saya duduk sendiri dekat piano. It's not piano, it's a keyboard. Ah, And okay. then I learn okay. by myself. So wow, I think cool. you also have your own experience and background. Yeah. I've I've my experience. I'm actually classically trained or oh, well Classical. Uh, to put it loosely lah, like, you know, I actually like graduated. I mean, grade two ABRSM ni lah. So okay, still classically trained lah to a certain point. So um, the funny thing was like uh, my experience was uh, first time with the piano was one day out of the blue in the 90s. I think my my father at the time uh, had one lorry coming lah to the house and turun lah satu grand piano lah, <laughs> baby grand dah lah rumah kecil. <laughs> <laughs> so this baby grand showed up and my mom kind of like freaked out. Oh, what is this? Suddenly buying the thing is but apparently he got a real good deal for it. He got like I think he bought it for like 900 ringgit or something. For baby grand. Yeah, baby grand. Yeah. So none of us know how to play piano at all. So to cut the story short, I mean my mom decided like okay since the thing is here, did to not waste it. Uh, send me and my sister to piano classes lah. So then I went to lah the ABRSM classical thing and all and all and stuff lah. Of course, I was uh, very young at the time and uh, I didn't know nuts about like classical music and all. It was a bit difficult for me to appreciate lah masa tu dia lessons lah. Sebab dia memang, you know, the classical regime is like very disciplined. Saya masa tu, saya nak dengar lagu yang tema, lagu tema Airwolf ke, MacGyver ke macam tu. Tapi saya belajar piano tu main tak tahu lagu apa entah daripada century mana satu saya pun tak tahu lah. Yeah, actually that's uh, how I feel bila masuk kelas tuition dulu juga. Yeah, I think this is very common experience for people who went through the whole music lessons in the 90s ah, classical. So, uh, things have changed a lot along the way and uh, I think at the time the piano so because acoustic piano it was just acoustic sound lah kan. So, all the things I was hearing on radio or the TV and all everything had like keyboards and synthesizers and all lah. Tapi saya nak main kat piano tu macam bunyi dia tak match lah, you know. Yeah. You can play lah, you know, the theme songs and all but then like originally they weren't using piano sounds lah and stuff. So that's where I kind of like eventually sadly I I, I dropped out lah, you know, after grade two and all. Then went went on to other things lah. Well, the funny thing is that now I'm back into music and all. So things have like come a full circle lah, I would say. And I have a huge, much more appreciation appreciation for piano now. After like picking up the guitar and coming back to it, and um, now personally, I just wish that I went through, I finished my grade eight or something. Ah, uh, then I could have been a much better keyboard player. Now lah, you know. So, tapo kita masih pusing balik ke music lah, the arah music at the end of the day lah, whether it's piano or drums or guitar and stuff like that and all lah. So, yeah, that was my, you know, introduction to the instrument and all lah. So, then, I mean, there were problems, I would say, because that time rumah saya memang rumah kecil je, tapi grand piano, I mean, piano tu besar. Then, um, it took up space lah. So, that's one of the issues. And then, the tuning lah, every few, few months I had to tune, you know, a, a lot of pianos at home are like, not really in tune, you know. So, That's an, a problem because like, I think when you are playing right, you don't know whether you're in tune or not. Kadang-kadang dia macam flat sikit kat sini, then sini macam sharp sikit or something like you're playing. Years and years of practicing on that and then like, you punya ears not uh, tuned to like, like a, you know, perfect pitch I mean, and stuff like that, which can be difficult lah later on. Mm. Um, then also like, I cannot practice like, past a certain time at the night, like after 10 o'clock or something, because piano too kuat. I mean, yeah, although they say they can put the pedal apa tu yang yang tempo pedal ah uh, the yeah yang yang mendapkan dia punya sound sikit but to to reduce the volume but the thing is that it makes the sound different really so it doesn't sound nice really lah and stuff so volume issues also with the acoustic piano and all lah yeah so uh, but i mean like like i think coming to today's urban living lagi lah kita orang semua kat bandar duduk kat condo and uh, flat ke apa semua tu 
nak letak akustik piano pun susah juga kan. Yep. Hmm? Like just now you mention kita duduk dunia era digital kan. Digital, yeah. So now we semua nak cari convenience. Yeah. Hmm. So this way digital piano comes in. Yeah, yeah, that's right I think. So um I think like uh, like in pianos like this like like what you see here is I've, I've got the old the older slightly older FP30 which was a hit and now the very fast selling FP30X uh, which is uh, which on uh, Georgie's side depan saya yeah so later we we'll talk about the differences lah between the two uh, there are some improvements on on uh, the FP30X and all and um, so um, let's talk about like what are the the pros of uh, the digital pianos today and all lah. I think like ramai orang yang still think I mean those those who mention about like uh, the digital pianos uh, still sound fake or whatever and stuff like that. A lot of them are basing their their experience from like maybe 50, uh, 20, 20 years ago punya <laughs> digital piano. As mm-hmm. you know with everything and uh, technology evolves along the way. Macam you punya computer pun 20 tahun lepas dengan sekarang pun lain sangat lah you know. And um, what do you, what do you think of You know, I think you you always been playing digital pianos or digital instruments, can? Hmm. Okay, this is my thought lah. Like I say, sekarang dunia digital, kita nak dengar. Now kita nak dengar bunyi lah, wong. Hmm. Mm, like dulu kita nak dengar bunyi the original, but now sebab banyak sangat bunyi dalam satu digital and hmm. then convenience and then affordable, kita tak dengar bunyi je sekarang. Sebab tadi the beginning I play EP. Yeah. Yep. So kalau acoustic piano mana kita nak cari EP? Ya yeah, betul. So, so now it's all about sound. So this way digital piano comes dia nak tolong and then untuk the new beginner pianist nak belajar you still have acoustic piano dekat digital piano. Doesn't change. Tapi you have a bunch of um, uh, brilliant sounds of piano, acoustic piano. Kita still ada. Kita have to scroll cari sound dia. This way the digital piano comes. Kita, dia nak tolong kita as a musician juga. Yeah. Hmm. I think also like uh, personally, I think like like a lot of uh, parents, jarang macam a bit uh, worried if they send, I mean buy a, a piano which is called cost a few thousand ringgit or something and, and beyond, uh, whether the the kid will stay and le- continue to to learn or, or lose the interest or not or something lah, you know. So this this is a very tricky uh, situation lah, you know so what I think is that like from my personal experience I felt like you know why why I gave up in the end of the day was because like the acoustic piano is just an acoustic piano kind of, I mean it's great I, I mean when I look back now I think about it the grand piano is great lah, you know I really like the sound and stuff I mean although it's old and rickety you know but there's something special about it lah, you know that I really connected with it and stuff but it's long gone already lah, you know threw away the piano already anyway so um, but the reason why I kind of like quit so I think it was because I was young all I wanted to hear were like more the pop stuff but what I was like given to learn every week you know was you know scales which I was not like told what the scales were used for you know every day you got to you know Oh, the piano just turned off. Every day need to play scales, yeah. muscle class scales. To, to play, play scales and stuff like up and down, up and down. So, I never knew the application of what scales were for. You know, back in those days, they're much finger exercise. I just had to do it, and then mm. my, my posture, posture. And, and you know the how you have to play like this and everything. All it was very, the discipline. It took a lot of discipline. Uh, you know, I the teacher would pukul. You know, and stuff. Those days, uh, you know, kind of scolding every time. I don't practice, and then my mom starts scolding me and stuff. So the, it took the fun out of it, lah. Like, you know, I, you know, it became some sort of like a very, how to say, ah, macam dah macam tak fun, lah. You know, so that's why I quit. You la, almost you know. give up, em. I gave up. Basically, I gave up. You know, yep. lucky became a teenager. At the time, then I started getting into guitar, and then I became like a music, music crazy again, lah. Then I came back to it, to the keyboards, everything of it. You know, synthesizers and like, really fell in love with it again, lah. You know. Funny how things turn around, and uh, I think uh, one way to keep the youngster interested is to have a lot of sounds on board the piano. Can, dia bukan bunyi piano saja. I mean, you got piano. Sa- so a good piano sound is the bare basic you need to have uh, in the digital piano, like which this FP30 series uh, have. 
in spades, uh, you know. So, um, like you say, just now you played the Rhodes, the electric piano. I think the FP30X electric piano is really, really nice. Which bit there? Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. And uh, of course, if you want like other sounds are funny, you know, sometimes kids just want to mess around. They, they, they need to have fun, you know. If they don't have fun, then it's like, what's the point of doing music already, uh, you know. Yeah. Can. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, and I mean maybe you can show us uh, some other sounds in the FP30X and see how how we can instill some more creativity for people lah, you know. Okay, kita dengar ada macam mana orang main. Yeah. Starter ni kita dengar oh dia ni memang jiwa pop rock. So basically yeah. it's, it's fun lah. Bayangkan apa yang orang main pop tu kita tukar EP. So just now I play tadi sekarang ni is a uh, acoustic. Yeah. So, macam Wong kata, if we change the sound, it makes, mungkin it sounds much fun lah kalau kita dengar. Tapi kita nak tahu apa genre kita nak main kan. Kita boleh jadikan dia pop and then kita boleh jadikan dia rock. rock. Lagu church yeah. pula Wong. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's macam the in the first place I say sound, yeah. Actually, much fun kalau kita boleh discover cepat sound. Sama macam gitar. Kita tak main satu clean sound, hmm. kan? Exactly. Yep. So, uh, I mean, the, with the loads of sounds in, on board, I think it keeps it interesting for the kids uh, and stuff. So, um, the other question a lot of people would ask, I think, was that, okay, dia masih mau dia punya stu- uh, anak nak ambil exam. Oh, exam. So, like, they still want to do the, the classical thing, everything. But what... Can they still do it if they are buying a digital piano such as this lah? You know, it's like personally, I think yes, you can because like uh, I think in the exam board, uh, technically they they require whatever is like just a bare minimum of uh, some sort of like a like a piano. I mean, a digital piano that has piano sound. Satu. Piano eighty-eight sound. keys. Dua. And piano weighted touch. So you have it all here as a basic lah. You know and this digital piano so you can even adjust the, the, the key touch to be heavier or softer everything and all lah, according to, to your preference Reference. which is something I think an acoustic cannot be done you know some some acoustic manufacturers have a heavier touch some lighter older recon pianos tend to have like a lighter touch because the I mean the mechanism is you have to see like maybe 40-50 years maybe a bit worn out a bit and stuff you know so great for different kind of styles of music you know you play rock and roll and the light touch is the one like Tune lah, you know. Yeah, but you know, classical. Then you need a, li- a heavier touch and stuff to you, so that you can build your your finger strength and to have more dynamic range, uh, loud, soft, loud again and stuff like that. You know, so you can do all that on the FPT. Oh yeah, yeah. check up aside dynamic. Yeah, of course you can do dynamic. So very expressive playing, uh, you know, and and you don't feel like they're much um when you shake, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I think the technology has come a long way. Now it's 2022, <laughs> and uh, I think um, it is suitable for for those who are learning as well. And uh, let's say if you, I mean, practicing and all. I mean, it works fine, great, and you can practice any time of the day, can because you can plug in your headphones and tak kacau orang semua. Tak kacau jiran lah. Yeah, Just jiran. Uh, if you're student girl or something, you're staying in a dorm, dormitory or some condo somewhere. So you, you know, sometimes you all sort of party the whole day and then come back home twelve thirty in the morning or something. Then after you wanna practice, put in some time, practice, put on headphones, that hal. You know, doesn't kacau anybody lah. But if you, of course, with acoustic piano, might be an issue lah, and stuff. Acoustic can. piano, kita tak boleh plug headphones. Yeah, yeah, you can plug headphones and stuff. Yeah, so that's that's difficult lah, and um. Basically, almost zero maintenance, I think. You tak payah tune dia punya ni. Sebab dia digital, dia fix, you know. The so, sounds, digital, yeah. kita kena jaga je lah. Macam bersihkan dia. Yeah, of course, the uh, basic Clean. tender loving care is uh, applies lah also. But the thing is that you don't need to call a piano tuner, hire a piano tuner and come and tune everything. Because everything is always, when you switch on, is always in tune, you know. Itu uh, yang the boss. Yeah. Bagus tau kalau kita dah kaca effects ke hmm. kita tukar dia punya feature turn off turn on it back to default setting. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And just now I saw that you were using your phone to change sounds and stuff, right? Yeah, sebab saya tak nampak what sounds yang saya nak guna, so I use apps. 
Hmm. Nah, bukan tu features yang bagus ke? Orang dia macam, oh kita yeah, nampak lah apa sound. I mean like, hey, keyboard ni dalam S ni ada drum pun. Oh ada drum <laughs> ada juga. Drum. Ada yeah. macam rhythm semua ya sekali. So, hari tu episod kedua uh, orang kata saya boleh main semua. Tak juga dekat drum saya pun. Hmm. Yang ni ada drum. Acoustic piano. I don't think ada drum. Ya, ya, ya. So I mean the some of the additional things uh, and then I like it's really cool. I think it's got the Bluetooth connection ah, kan untuk Apple Kalau kita nak main lagu pun boleh. Ya, yeah, so. great thing is dia apa? Uh, yang ni dulu ada Bluetooth MIDI aja. MIDI saja. Hmm. No, yang tu ada Bluetooth dulu. audio dengan MIDI. Yes. Ah. So kita nak jam dengan lagu contohlah your piano picture bagi you lagu tapi dia bagi you MP3. So yeah. kita buka je yang dekat WhatsApp ke dihantar hmm. dan kita play. Kita Dari play and then ya. kita main on top. Senang. Hmm. 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 That's where the features dia tolong student actually. Yeah, yeah, I think makes it a lot more fun that way lah, you know. That uh, the sound will come out straight from the the Speaker. onboard speakers here again yes. and stuff. Yep. Then I think if like for those of you who are studying in the music production, ke apa semua, this FP thirty X so works as great uh, as a recording tool, kan? Or, or for arranging, what arrangements? They play dua audio and MIDI. Saya dah try. Hmm. Uh, works well. Audio tanah tanah guna MIDI. Yes, you can use audio. Nak guna MIDI boleh. Just plug you dekat. Kabel uh, printer tu. Ah USB kabel. Ah, dia printer. laptop akan detect tak payah kita nak set laptop macam detect oh ada FPTTX. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So banyak function lah tu untuk yep. macam student yang ambil uh, apa ni? Sound, I mean uh, macam music nah, production. Music production. Ya, music production. Lah. Ada pertanyaan cari sistem 8 tapi semua kedai kedai tak ada stock. Saya pun suka Alamak. sistem 8. Sistem 8 Alamak. macam Nice lah. I like the design system it. Hmm. Yeah, kita tak ada stock. Yeah, itu kena special order lah. Sorry bro, you know. Yeah, system it synthesizer. So back to the FP thirty X kan. And I think like recently, I mean like kita sekarang macam orang kata lah nak masuk zaman endemic lagi ya, something lah. But the start of the pandemic masa kita orang semua duduk kat rumah kan, tiba-tiba piano sales you know digital ni semua melanjak. laris gila melanjak fu sales mendadak naik 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 the F, this FP30 was like really hot seller lah you know it was a hit lah i think and um, after that like i think uh, later on they they changed the model to the FP30X and uh, yeah. this has been selling very well as well um, with uh, upgraded features and stuff lah so um, During pandemic, everything you know, or and stuff. Even now, we still have to do like sometimes online. There's, I mean, digital pianos are really the savior lah when it comes to to like online classes and and uh, I think like live stream performances kan sebab dia orang boleh line out kan, hmm. all direct. Hmm. Uh. Now line out ada dulu all version yang. Yeah, one of the bezel kan ni. Uh, yang tu ada tu ada kabel dua line, line left and right line out line so out. you boleh bawa bukit main show ke wedding eh, function dah boleh connect dekat speaker orang dulu mana boleh ah, speaker yang ni yang ni boleh iPhone. tapi you kena ada macam custom white cable ke kalau yes. you nak stereo lah dia share dengan phones out dia lah yang tu sekarang ada dedicated line out ke FPTX yes. and uh, of course I mean like I said just now the bluetooth midi and audio there this was uh, the older one has the bluetooth midi je and Polyphony, polyphony dia pun lagi banyak. Yang tu dah 256, yang ni uh, 128 lah dulu. Yep. So, what is polyphony? Polyphony means the number of notes you can play simultaneously at the same time. And uh, you say, what, what's the what's the big deal about polyphony lah? Yeah, why why you need more polyphony is like, uh, basically, kalau macam you main macam ni kan, macam ini 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 6 notes are playing at the same time. But what if you hit the the, the sustain pedal? There's more than six notes already. Or if you are like layering, like a piano with strings, or whatever, it's already double. You know, two two instruments and all lah. So the more polyphony gives you more. I mean, it can handle more notes and all lah. Just like a real acoustic piano. Basically, you hit all 88 keys and sustain the pedal. Everything all it will still jalan lah. So two five six is a lot more. And I mean upgraded that way lah. And uh, you guys yeah. also boleh main twin piano, so that's yeah. where polyphonic comes. You boleh main dengan pia- uh, teacher you duduk sebelah sebelah. Yeah, dia ada bunyi dia banyak. You boleh tunjuk split. Okay, split so sini yeah. the split. So basically split split is the uh, lesson. 
between teacher dengan student. So sekarang saya nak tunjuk split. So apa yang anda dengar sekarang ini adalah fully scale daripada piano. So kita nak pergi split wong. So eh split pula twin. So ini adalah piano. twin. So sini basically normally student and ni adalah cikgu so dia boleh buat scale. So cikgu boleh pantau atau kalau uh, you guys nak belajar dengan adik beradik ke atau hmm. kawan ke this way the twin piano comes. Ya, dua-dua boleh main dalam uh, range yang, yang sama, sama kan? Ah, yes. uh, pitch yang sama. Dulu saya pergi kelas uh, piano teacher kat sebelah sini saya main kat sini tapi selalu dia main bass note punya macam Ayuh, sometime lah. saya madi. pun macam rasa pening kepala sikit lah. <laughs> although the notes are same but they are in the different octave you see yeah so that that helps a lot and then also uh, you can do split the thing in a way like the different instruments on different sides Yes. Left hand bass, acoustic bass, right hand piano, semua you can basically do like a, a so, jazz trio, one man jazz trio. So tadi saya twins, now it's back to single. So macam Wong cakap tadi, yes we can do split. Wong guna internal board atau on board, hmm. saya guna apps je. split sini pun ada dual macam orang tunjuk layer hmm. tadi dengan string so yang yes. tu kalau tiba-tiba dia orang ada panggil tu function mana semua you bawa keyboard ni bawa drama seorang dua orang je boleh main sudah macam jazz trio ha. kan jalan ha. Ha. apa apa kita panggil trio trio boleh du- ya, dua bunyi boleh. trio tapi yang nampak tu dua orang dua je. <laughs> so I, I, ada satu lagi soalan je tu uh, piano ni class compliance ke uh, contoh kalau nak record direct kat iPad okey okay. Itu boleh kan? Yeah. Saya jawab soalan Encik Aizat. Yes, dia boleh uh, menggunakan Bluetooth. Macam Wong mention tadi, dia ada Bluetooth audio dan MIDI. Now, untuk iPad especially lah, Apple user, kita boleh guna untuk GarageBand. Saya dah cuba just pay with the Bluetooth. Tapi, before kita pay dekat Bluetooth, kena buka lagi setting dekat GarageBand. You need to connect with FPTTX. And then, works well macam kita guna GarageBand, guna kabel. So, sama. Bila kita record, audio tu akan masuk dalam your iPad. Yes, it still works. Bluetooth hmm. MIDI. Memang good features lah untuk FPTTX ni. It can be like anything. Yeah, I think the new uh, apa tu, piano everyday app kan. Hmm. Itu pun lagi satu, you boleh main, you punya piece and record. And then, dia boleh keluar notation kan. Yes, dia boleh. Ah. Uh, apa tu, dia boleh print balik apa yang kita main tadi. Tapi, eh, ikut tempo yang anda main. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. So macam saya nak share yang itu hari saya main bantai apa? Satu lagu eh. Sebenarnya. Bukan lagu lah saya bantai aja sebenarnya. Dan ada orang tiba-tiba pergi minta. message saya punya IG minta oh kalau you ada score yang tu. Saya pun tak tahu apa saya main Dia lah. Dia dah panik dah masa <laughs> tu. So I say eh hey, you guna the new yeah. piano kan. The new piano is all the new apps. Yep, that's right. Yes. So so it was using the the piano everyday app lah okay. yang tu. So I also like uh, I try to play back whatever I played. It was just kind of improvised kind of thing and um, use the app to record and then I, I save the I mean I screenshot the the notation lah sebab saya pun tak tahu nak tulis lah you know to be honest saya uh, apa teori semua memang hancur lah so so dengan penggunaan apa uh, app tu saya dapat membuat score terus lepas tu saya boleh hantar lah ke orang screenshot tu. orang <laughs> screenshot oh yeah hantar so nice. that is so 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 helpful you know like imagine for lessons and stuff like that if you have this you can send it to your friends you know through whatsapp or something you know yep. everything or so you can uh, i mean lifesaver ada uh, untuk yang tu so um so the the fp30x i think uh, currently is uh, available in most of our uh, our ni uh, official dealers oh yeah kan? sebab so, saya nak tunjuk yang kita actually ada dua warna saya tak tunjuk yang itu sebenarnya uh, yang yeah, kita ada dua warna putih. yeah um Okay, first of all, saya nak ucapkan ribuan terima kasih kepada customer yang dah beli banyak FPTTX ni sebab saya ada buat satu live training atau kita panggil Zoom training. Most of them uh, banyak purchase the FPTTX from our dealer and then mereka banyak beli white, surprise. Oh, okay. White. Right. So, um, they, they love it lah. They mm-hmm. like the finishing. Mm. Mm. So, thank you so much and then um, if you guys still have question 
kami still ada dekat sini untuk jawab soalan anda. Yeah. So I think like uh, one thing special is uh, what we want to give back is also if you have purchased uh, an FP30X or something uh, recently and you need any assistance, jangan, I mean you can always uh, let us know and uh, we can have Georgie to have a personal Zoom uh, training with you. Uh, she's been conducting uh, quite a bit uh, over the past few months uh, and during the time we were having lockdown as well mm-hmm. and uh, you know we want to give back I mean like in a way like personalized kind of like uh, support lah you know. Tak kira dealer mana semua you beli tapi kalau you beli Roland FP30X ke you nak minta Georgie untuk buat training personal tu boleh lah uh, contact kita untuk buat yep. uh, schedule uh, apa ni time lah. And uh, from from those uh, training sessions, uh, um, what do you think about it? I mean, like uh, mostly, what are the questions that the customers ask actually? Saya yeah. ada satu uh, question yang sangat rare dia tanya. So this guy dia tanya saya macam mana nak record uh, this activity. So it's actually the very best questions about he know everything. Cuma dia nak tanya saya macam mana nak plug pergi interface. Sebab dia nak guna interface Instead of masuk terus dekat Dia punya laptop hmm. Hmm. So I say um, Cik kenapa tak try masuk terus dekat Your laptop okay. Oh nanti saya cuba terima kasih So this very rare question Sebab question yang saya selalu tanya is like uh, Beside of using the onboard uh, What is uh, this happy TTX So saya tunjuk with the apps Yang orang tanya tadi Apps Sebab apps macam saya cakap tadi Kita nampak semuanya Okay so sekarang piano EP Cuba tekan ni apa pun. Ini soft pad ke apa? Dia ada pad. So, saya check. Oh, ada pad. Saya tekan je pad. So, kita boleh nampak. Kita boleh baca teori juga. Kita boleh record your score macam orang cakap tadi. So, saya ajar uh, by using the apps. Actually, you can discover more. So, dia macam, oh, tak tahu ada apps. Yes. Hmm. So, apps ni sangat bantu. The new piano, Roland Piano, semua kita ada apps yang boleh tolong kita juga untuk cari sound. Kemacam dekat belakang kita, Wong. Yeah, This RP, is the F. And RP. Yeah. So, yang ni ada screen. Ada LCD. So, kita boleh nampak. Hmm. Tapi macam yang, macam FP30 ni. FP10 kita tak nampak. So, open the S. Kita nampak preset yang kita nak cari. Yeah. Yes. So, that way, so it still give you the, you know, you are able to navigate through your phone or your tablet or something. But at the same time, they keep the cost low for the hardware. You know, that is the, the best thing about it lah. You know, and... Uh, Another thing, yeah, so FP30X semua ni sekarang sudah pun buatan Malaysia kan? Yeah, oh, so something be really bangga proud dah. of. Bangga <laughs> sangat. Yeah. Bangga dah. Dia orang nak pergi dan beli kat US ke semua, datang dari Malaysia juga. Actually, yes. this is one of the questions I get asked a lot. When they ask me, where is it made? I said, it's actually made in Malaysia. Oh, really? Yeah? Uh, then, if let's say they order from Japan or order from US, everything all is from China or something. I said, no, it's all from Malaysia. Dia produce kat Malaysia untuk global punya uh, market. So kita sebagai orang Malaysia patut bangga tau. Yang yang produk ini semua buatan Malaysia, everything and it's like going uh, all over the world, you know. Come to think of it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean you can see the quality sama macam typical apa yang Japanese punya QC lah, you know. So belilah tanpa apa Ragu-ragu. Was-was? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is that the right one? I don't know. So, okay. yeah. Mm, so, um, itu yang kita nak share untuk FP30X atau kita panggil ni digital piano. Mm. And then, basically, kita boleh cakap banyak tapi kita nak cakap dulu FP30X sebab kita nak tunjuk what this FP30X can do. Then, mm. kita boleh tunjuk juga keyboard. Actually, yep. Wong yang ajar saya, baru saya tunjuk dekat anda semua the digital piano. But uh, thanks to Wong lah. So, um, yeah, digital instruments are many things lah. You know, they have many, many features and all. It's just to, even to talk about it within half an hour is almost impossible lah. So, uh, in a nutshell, what we want to say is that um, if you have a certain budget range or something, and uh, space is a con- space constraint or something at home and stuff like or, or you want something for live performance you know it's now the punya live bar semua mula nak start balik again so or function wedding functions semua you want a piano that's kind of like uh, easy to carry around and has line out everything or the FP30X is a perfect unit for you lah you know great piano sounds 
you know, uh, for church or, uh, the, uh, you know, even for worship, everything and all, you know, you get piano sounds and all, and uh, strings, you can combine two sounds together at the same time. Even for just playing at home for fun, uh, you know, it's always have fun to have a piano around at home, uh, you know, if, uh, uh, like I said, you know, want something that can be easily put away, you know, um, to be kept, you know, uh, when you're having a party or something, or taken out during the party or so, you know, built-in speakers and stuff are all there. And yeah, check one out at the dealer today, lah. You know, if you if you have the time. Uh, anything you want to add, Georgie? Yeah. Hmm. Nah, sound lagi. Yeah, I think to hear the sounds is very important. Can you have okay. some acoustic sounds and some Kita, voices and? Tad, uh, saya yeah. suka dengar konsep piano eh. Saya suka dengar yang ini juga lah. Uh, kita panggil ini melo upright. Kata R&B, sorry. Uh. <laughs> piano sound is a very familiar sound to me lah. You know, it, it really reminds me of those like pianos that you find in the houses lah. <laughs> Rumah orang semua. Dia punya bass note dengan dia punya treble note semua macam lain daripada grand piano punya tone. Tapi yang awak said, actually, tadi tu konsep piano, kalau EP lah, hmm. awak, dekat general midi, sini ada piano, piano one, piano two. Ah, so itu ini, piano jenis lain pula tu. Yang ni ya. macam dia bagi kita satu compress, compressor. Macam dia, tu. dia macam bunyi lebih proses lah, macam pop ah, punya piano correct. lah. Ah. So, ha. Compress, yeah, so yeah. not only the cup piano. When you open the GM, banyak lagi piano. Ada lagi piano di situ. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. kita ada detune. Saya suka detune. Yeah, Tidak apa. Yeah, macam piano lama lah. Yeah. Detune. Yeah. And I think for like songwriters as well, you know, you want a lot of songs within so that you can kind of inspire you to, you know, like like come up with like like chord progressions for songs and stuff. So, um, an instrument with loads of sounds uh, will help a lot, lah. I think can. Yeah. And it's all like. Hmm. Uh, apa tu? Effect dalam piano to reset ke? Ah, tu. Ni? Kan, aku rasa, ya. Ni? Oh. Yeah. Okay, uh, very good question. Effect dalam piano ini boleh set ke? Okay, when you talk about effect macam kind of effect macam gitar punya, uh, sadly kita tak ada. Kita ada macam orang cakap reverb, tapi dalam piano kita tak panggil reverb. Kita panggil dia ambient. Yes, so kita boleh set uh, ambient macam hall, plat room. Kita boleh say, okay, nak dengar Cuma, lebih, ah, kita yeah. guna piano lah, kalau dengar sikit. So, now this is uh, concert piano. So, saya tak pasti ambient ni berapa, kita boleh tukar ambient, kita letak lebih sikit lah kot. Contoh ni kosong. Maximum, maximum. Ah, kita dengar kosong dulu, ni kosong. So, ni kosong, now kita letak maximum pula. So, ni maximum. Mana dah tu? Macam, ya, konsol hall lah tu. Ya, yeah, I think it's hall lah. Yeah. So yes, it do have, kita panggil reverb lah kalau yang efek ni. Tapi untuk dekat piano, digital, digital piano kita panggil ambient. Hmm. Yes. Cool, cool. Ada, ada efek. Hmm. Don't worry. And then kita ada brilliance. So brilliance tu maksudnya kita nak uh, bagi brightness, brightness dekat yeah. keys tu. Hmm. Yes. Kasi bunyi dia lebih apa? treble lah. Yeah, Macam EQ. Ah, EQ lah, ya. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for the question. Dia ada effects. Ya. Yeah. And then, apa lagi saya kira? Apa lagi yang kita boleh share? Oh, ya. Yeah. Forgot to mention about, uh, what you seeing here is just the piano top je lah. Dia ada dua option lah. Dia punya package kan. Dia piano top, dia lebih murah sikit. Uh, ni, dia datang dengan uh, apa? Uh, DP2 punya sustain foot switch kan. 
sustain yeah, pedal je lah foot switch je so but if you want to upgrade to the DP10 punya proper double pedal pun boleh juga itu add on upgrade lah dia punya uh, the accessory option but, accessory yeah. The second option is basically macam tadi dalam slide yang dia tunjuk tu, dia full size punya piano. That means like dengan kaki dia semua sekali. Kalau you beli dengan dia punya package dengan kaki sekali, ada tiga pedal kat situ. Yang uh, Sostinuto, Una Corda and also the the sustain pedal lah. Uh, so, three pedal is basically for like classical player punya lah. Dia boleh, sometimes the pieces require three pedals and all lah. Yeah. So can see that right yeah anyway that is ah uh, tu gambar dia ini yang full set lah ini yep kaki dia KPD 70 and also with the three pedal unit like ah uh, KSC 70 and KPD 7 70 lah yeah hmm. so piano tu datang dengan dia punya music, music score rest, rest. ah uh, yeah okay so what Wong means anda ada optional sama anda hmm. if you want the full set which is dengan kaki ni atau if you guys banyak bergerak bergerak hmm. maksudnya nak pergi bawa this piano you, it, it have a top alone dalam top alone tu dia akan bagi anda di pitu ada pedal hmm. dalam yeah. so it's great for like uh, live performance or playing at home or uh, you know you want to use it in your project studio and stuff it works in all applications ah yep yeah so okay um Thank you for the question. Uh, we hope can answer you again. Uh, Wong ada benda nak tambah lagi ke? Ke kita hmm. nak jam dulu ke Wong? Okay, we, tadi we, saya dah tunjuk sound. Let's play ourselves kan? out lah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay, saya main pet lah. I love to play pet. JP8. film scoring ah. Ya, yeah, film scoring right. juga. Okay. Cool, um, cool. You guys still have any question? Yeah. Right dia. Okay. <laughs> Tadi kita check berapa dah? Uh, 14 eh. Uh, yeah, something dalam 14 kilo macam tu kan. 14.9, 14.6 something. Yeah. Uh, macam tu berat dia. So, it's I mean for For performers and all, I think it's it's uh, quite light because uh, dia punya casing dia gunakan hard plastic and uh, kalau dia dia kind of you can carry it to the gig lah boleh lah itu the, apa yang berat ni biasanya Speaker. stage piano dia punya apa um, key bed I mean key. dia punya keys mechanism tu yang berat tu saya rasa. Hmm. Hmm. What else do you want to ask me question? Mm. Okay, so beside piano, kita juga love to explore dalam mock station. And, and mungkin kita boleh buat episode tu untuk the next. Yeah, maybe episode. another episode to go deep into that kind of uh, functionality from this kind of piano. Mm. Kita you know. talk dulu pasal digital piano apa yang kita ada. Oh, by the way, dekat belakang kita ni, this is also a digital category, digital yeah. piano. So it's same features. If you are, if you guys ada question. Kita boleh jawab, tolong jawabkan. Um, key dia, yang ini adalah PHA 4. Hmm. So, sama juga PHA 4, PHA 4. Yeah. So, PHA is basically progressive hammer action. Dia weighted punya feel lah, weighted punya touch lah. So, you can, why why is weighted lah? Dia macam acoustic piano lah. Dia rasa macam berat sikit lah. Compared to macam you main organ atau keyboard yang tak ada, I mean, yang light touch tu. So why why you need the weight is basically so that you can play like uh, nice what would you call that uh? loud and soft is what uh, uh, dynamic dalam, ah the dynamics ah uh, dalam classical punya term saya sudah lupa uh, apa ah uh? <laughs> fortissimo uh, I don't know for like you know something like yes. can you know you have more expressiveness uh, you know if the heavier the keyboard you need to bang it harder to have more volume and stuff 
So that is, uh, you know, the PHA4 keybed uh, really replicates that feel as well, uh, you know, to, uh, very closely to an acoustic piano. So, um, uh, are there questions? Ni main ke Roland keyboard and Oh, yes. Okay. So, what kind of amp, if you were going to play live again, if you use, uh, would be best is to use like the Roland Mia, KC series Mia keyboard, keyboard amplifier. amplifier. La. Why KC series also? I mean, like, uh, it's because you want something that is kind of like full range frequency response. Uh. Uh, so, what piano, semua dia, I mean, piano, keyboard instruments, they do like, full, they, they perlukan full range frequency response. Or if you're performing live, you must PA system direct. La. Jangan sesekali masukkan dalam electric guitar amplifier. <laughs> Unless you want to experiment lah, you nak bunyi dia lagi rock and roll macam tu lah. Itu lain cerita lah, you know. If if you you want the sound to be represented as accurately as possible as what it is, either straight to the PA or through some some sort of a keyboard amp that is a full frequency range. Lah. Like now we are going through the the KC amplifier as well. So masa masa saya main main uh, experience uh, main keyboards in a rock band and all lah, dia orang akan minta rider list lah untuk show semua. The KCM is always my rider list lah, and almost all of the the backline support, I mean like bigger backline companies will have a Roland KC lah. Tak kisah lah yang lama ke yang baru semua, I will always be able to get my sound there very very instantly lah, you know. Uh, so having the right amplification is very very crucial lah for live performer lah, i think kan yeah hmm. yeah so i think that's it for today um jamming saya nak main apa saya pun tak tahu lah yalah bila bukan meja instrument yeah you know guitar player you know for me keyboards is a more of like accompaniment punya instrument for me but lah. talk about keyboard kan yeah. tadi first you cakap pasal you quick you give up tapi terbalik dengan my story I tak give up sebab you know when you little hmm. you know, teenager adult there's something that you always nak mm-hmm. so I grew up macam you juga I also play guitar I think I I get my first acoustic guitar when I was 12 years old mm. and then um, instrument tu yang that I play is memang dah ada dekat rumah Ah, I okay. I memang dah ada the keyboard, the bass, the drum. Yeah. Cuma I cuma tengok mana alat saya nak main. <laughs> Dia ah, macam tu. You lucky to have that lah. I think it's about yeah. you punya parents, I mean or for your father, your, your your dad was uh, very musically inclined I think. Mm, yeah. Uh, there the pros and cons lah like I'm the only sibling yang ada passion tu because ta- walaupun you ada ada beradik ramai tapi you nak mm. jamming dengan orang dia tak ada pay, tak minat. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so of course. Lah. Yeah. But, but at least the, you had the instruments at your place already. Yes, you just needed to pick what you wanted. You know, for me, it was a bit of a discovery. You know, I, I went through the typical kind of like uh, phase where, you know, parents wanted to send for musical class, music classes, everything means piano. There was no like guitar or drums or anything and all like that. Lah. So piano to test the waters. Lah. But, you know, that's why, like I said, like, I think the piano at that time wasn't really the one, the right suitable instrument for myself and all uh, and uh, but coming back to music was like through actually learning guitar mm. and from there I became even more a bigger music fan and stuff and started wanted to know about other instruments and then I come back to piano like whatever I learned from guitar right, I kind of like apply here again you know I like playing like blues and <laughs> Improvisation stuff, everything also semua tu saya ambil dari gitar. Lepas tu saya macam trans- transcribe to piano keys instead lah. Like I said, only thing I wish is that I had like more, I mean I finished my my classical training so that you know I had like left hand and right hand independence lah. Saya boleh main bass macam sini, right hand main ni, ni tangan kiri macam lemas, lemas sikit. sikit. <laughs> so, so main tu kena macam macam untuk comping je lah, you know like a... do some fancy left hand and right hand doing different things kind of thing. mm-hmm. macam macam sotong kurita macam tu you know mm, terbalik yeah. my story you, git, yeah. okay gitaris memang ada pegang kot eh. yeah. uh, basis tak pegang kot pun kan so uh-huh. macam mana saya nak tahu kot mm. so by piano lah 
I have no yeah. choice. I need to at least know the code. Mm. So, but you you buat inversion pun, I still need to know where's the root. Yeah. Kan? So, I still have to learn piano. And then, baru-baru ni saya suka dengar sin bel wong. Ah. Uh, macam, beza. Beza bila kita main the electric bass atau acoustic bass, tapi kita apply dekat keyboard. Oh, lain pula feel dia. Yes. Because cara you main tu sangat lain lah. Like, kalau you compose lagu guna gitar, you will play a certain kind of way. When you compose on the keyboard, it's more like piano or something, you will sound totally different, you know, and stuff like that. Yep. Because the cara main tu sangat lain lah. And the, you pegang chord dia, bunyi dia, macam... The inversions kind of like sound different, kan? That's hmm. the thing lah. So that's what is very interesting about uh, picking up different kind of instruments lah, you know? Yeah. At least belajar lah satu macam yeah, tu. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's that's important lah, you know. And if you want to pick one instrument, let's say you're into like songwriting and all like that, piano is very very perfect for that because like later when you go into music uh, production or arranging and all lah, the piano uh, is really really. I mean like keyboard instrument or piano is really really like uh, the master punya controller macam tu lah. You have the full range, you know. Like guitar pun dia macam a certain range of uh, you know and then certain things you can play and all but then like let's say if you nak buat macam film scoring guna gitar payah sikit tau because like uh, you need all these other sounds but the guitar can do unless you have like special synth pickup and all and you know a lot of things that you like you know you need to deal with like uh, external gear and how to track the thing and all but dengan piano macam ni semua ada USB MIDI semua you cucuk je dalam software tu you boleh buat lah you know bunyi orkestra ke you know bunyi apa drum ke drum ke semua boleh buat yes. because piano is the the, the main the main uh, one like you see lah most of the composer mesti ada piano kena ada ya yeah. so if you are learning piano right don't stop you know I'll say this is a very very good basics uh, for uh, music uh, music uh, education and all lah and uh, you can always take up other instruments on the side everything and all you know the more the merrier i would say lah can at least yeah. learn the sim- learn the chord lah dan cakap simple chord tapi learn the chord so about yeah. that chord you boleh buat apa yeah, yeah. and understand it's easier to see it like this if you can spell chords and stuff like that yep. uh, later on for your your theory also be easier i think kan uh, so yeah ada beza KCM lama dan baru kat rumah saya ada Roland XP60 wow ok cool yang lama punya I think beza dia dia kemungkinan ada buatan China punya yang baru punya semua buatan Malaysia ya yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. but I think honestly the voicing lebih kurang sama lah I, I feel lah you know like um, the the older KC we actually this one is a very old KC dia ni yang KC 550. Apa, 550 zaman buatan US punya So, uh, US made one later on they had the China made one or something I couldn't tell the difference uh, really so uh, and even the new current line of KC pun bunyi pun lebih kurang lah you know can't tell the difference yeah, yeah. as long uh, as it sound transparent enough that it can apa you punya keyboard atau uh, piano sounds like a keyboard and piano that you're actually plugging into lah some I've tried before like masa saya pergi main apa macam Uh, kat jamming studio, rehearsal semua kan dia orang ada keyboard M lain lah saya tak nak cakap nama semua saya cucuk saya punya rig semua wah bunyi mm. dia punya mid terlampau semua lah so saya kena buat banyak adjustment EQ untuk kasih dia macam so called flat response balik it was like the bass was like at 3 I mean uh, 9 o'clock and then the treble macam pukul 6 ke or something and the mid you know what so it was quite drastic lah and um, ambil masa sikit nak dapat sound uh, to, to suit lah my taste lah something so with the cases is always everything lah like, saya punya EQ semua flat je yeah. uh, tengok tempat lah kalau ada konsert besar uh, dia punya day one tu dia bumi sikit so then saya mula dengan flat EQ semua lepas tu adjust mungkin to compensate lah macam to bumi I turn down the bass a little bit that's it you know so it's always been very easy lah kalau guna KC amplifier ni Yeah. XP60 tu klasik lah tu model and I think a lot of uh, a lot of special sounds in there also as well itu XP60 itu zaman sebelum Phantom Phantom the original Phantom <laughs> before original before Phantom. Phantom this was like from the 90s and all yeah hmm. some module tak X, dia, dia synth lah synthesizer lah ha. 
Okay, so yeah, I think uh, macam orang cakap tadi kita ada banyak actually nak cakap tapi if you guys still have question you can drop by a question. Uh, thank you for tuning dalam yeah. live stream ini. So kita akan still siarkan this live stream if you guys have any question of especially about the FTTX kita boleh cuba tolong jawab. And then wong you ada benda yang nak tambah. Yeah, I just want you to guys, I mean you guys are if you are interested or something go check it out at the uh, a dealer that's nearby you lah, you know. Kalau you tak tahu kat mana semua, boleh drop us uh, uh, PM lah dekat yeah. RP distribution mungkin Facebook atau IG. And uh, we can direct you to the closest uh, rolling dealer yang ada FP30X on display. Alright, so we will see you uh, in the next episode. Kan? <laughs> <laughs> in the next episode. Yeah, so... Okay. Thank Mungkin you kita boleh cakap pasal boss. Yang mana? Boys? Boss. Boss. Oh, okay. Something to think about. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see you soon. Bye.